In 2013, a 29 year old man named Edward Snowden made headlines by leaking classified documents that exposed espionage and surveillance operations conducted by the US National Security Agency, or NSA. What made Snowden's revelation particularly notable was that he wasn't an outsider. He was a former NSA employee, making him a highly credible source. So what pushed Edward Snowden to leak those documents? And how did he manage to do it? Today at Finance Per, we'll find out the story of Edward Snowden and the espionage and surveillance of the NSA. But for more amazing videos about finance, technology, and business, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. So, how important is that leak? The leaked documents shed light on a concerning secret about security and digital espionage. Snowden's disclosures were not the stuff of conspiracy theories. They were verifiable facts. They revealed that the NSA could monitor the entire internet, including every word, image, video, email, and private conversation. This extensive surveillance was not limited to foreign entities. Even American citizens were under surveillance. So how did Snowden start to leak those documents? Snowden's journey began in December 2012 when journalist Glenn Greenwald received an anonymous email from a person claiming to have sensitive information from the CIA and NSA. And this individual wanted to share the information. Laura Poitras, a documentary producer who had been on the U.S. security agency's radar for her work, also received a similar email. She and Greenwald were friends with a shared passion for journalism and a commitment to defending freedom of the press. The anonymous sender, using the name Citizen4, provided a secure method of communication to protect their discussions. Their exchanges revealed that the NSA had significantly expanded its surveillance and espionage programs after the 9-11 attacks, intercepting and storing vast amounts of global data. Telecommunications and technology companies were compliant in compromising their clients' privacy and trust. The journalists' communication with Citizen4 continued for months, during which they learned about the extent of the NSA's activities. In April 2013, a face-to-face -face meeting was arranged in Hong Kong, where Laura and Greenwald were introduced to the anonymous source. To their surprise, the source turned out to be a 29-year-old man named Edward Snowden who had been a technical expert within the NSA. Snowden's decision to expose these secrets was driven by his growing disillusionment with the agency and the realization that the public needed to be aware of the extent of government surveillance. So, who is Edward Snowden in the first place? Snowden's early years were marked by the closeness to a strong military heritage within his family and an unconventional approach to education. Raised in a family with deep-rooted tradition of military service, he seemed destined to follow in their footsteps. However, Snowden struggled with the formal education system and soon found himself at a crossroads. In the wake of difficulties at school, Snowden chose to forge his journey, in which he discovered his love for technology. With curiosity and an unrelenting commitment to learning, he ventured into the world of computer science a realm he was destined to excel in. Despite his lack of formal training, Snowden has a rare gift for understanding complex computer systems and programming languages, enough to be noticed by the National Security Agency. A defining moment in Snowden's life came when he decided to enlist in the United States Army, perhaps inspired by his family's military background. However, fate had other plans for him as a leg fracture brought his military career to a quick stop. Although the fracture led to his discharge from the army, it was far from the end of his journey. In 2005, he secured a position as a security guard at the Maryland Center for Advanced Study of Language, a connection that would hugely impact his future. The center had a close connection with the National Security Agency, 
an agency actively seeking individuals with cutting-edge technical skills, even if they lacked traditional academic qualifications. In 2007, Snowden's career took a new direction as he was sent to Geneva, Switzerland. Geneva, a city known for its international importance, housed several global headquarters including the United Nations, the World Health Organization, and various human rights organizations. The CIA maintained a strong intelligence network within the city, making it an ideal location for Snowden, a network expert, to contribute his expertise. During his time in Geneva, Snowden's perception of the intelligence community began to shift. He began to uncover aspects of the intelligence world that were different from the idealized image of heroic defenders of the nation that he had grown up with. In particular, he learned about the incident where the CIA manipulated an individual working in the banking sector in Switzerland. The CIA persuaded this individual to drink alcohol and drive while intoxicated, ensuring he would be arrested by the police. Once arrested, the CIA offered to drop the charges in exchange for the individual's cooperation as an informant. These events pushed Snowden to leak those documents, and eventually, he did. Snowden's leaks, which included information about programs like PRISM and X-Keyscore, revealed the extent of the NSA's global surveillance, monitoring technology companies, and exploiting backdoors into electronic devices. He was motivated by a sense of duty to his fellow citizens to expose these activities, even at the cost of his own freedom. After leaking the documents, Snowden's life took a quick turn. He sought asylum in various countries, but due to the US revoking his passport, he found himself stranded in Russia. Despite facing legal challenges and accusations of treason from the US government, Snowden continues to live in Russia, where he was granted temporary political asylum. In 2022, he was granted Russian citizenship, further ensuring his protection. Edward Snowden's leaks sparked a global debate on government surveillance, privacy, and the balance between national security and individual freedoms. His story continues to resonate with those who view him as a hero, a whistleblower who took great personal risks to expose actions he believed were violating the principles of a free society and democracy. But for more amazing videos about finance, technology, and business, don't forget to check out our channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that notify bell for upcoming videos. For now, this is Finance Spur. Have a great day.